sixth round of the FIA World Endurance Championship and we travel to the United States of America for the circuit of the Americas six hours tensions high in the hot weather conditions as the cars rolled out for the GT qualifying Ricky Taylor doing double duty this weekend in the American series as well he laid down a pretty good lap for Labra competition early on Porsche's always good in uh, difficult conditions but the Pedro Lamy and Paul Della Lama combo for Aston Martin racing back on form here after some mistakes by the team they take the arm pull in GTE Pro Ford have four cars here this weekend racing in two different championships by two different teams they're both 66 and 67 third position for the 66 car with the 71 AF Corsa Ferrari coming through but Aston Martin playing a canny game here both the 95 and the 97 with just one set of tyres used and the 95 car quick enough to take pole position on that single set of Dunlop tyres again alert your drivers to the respect of track limits Track limits were an issue for the GTs and would be also for LMPs. Time's been deleted for Alex Brundle with consistent problems at turn number nine. Means that the 26 G drive car did not get two laps in and Roman Rusnov will start right at the back with his team. So third position to the RGR Ligier, the 43 car, Matt Rau and the rest of Manor. New brake discs on that car from a new supplier this weekend. They could qual concentrate on qualifying. But it's the 36 Alpine that takes Paul in LMP2. In LMP1, Porsche in third position, Toyota in fourth, by the way. That's a real improvement for them. And Audi lock out the front row. The eight of Oli Jarvis will start on the outside, the right-hand side going up the hill. Andre Lotterer and the seven crew starting on pole position. Audi lock out the first row of the grid. And it was a tough session, but a very productive one for the team from Ingolstadt.